Hello there guys and welcome to another DraftKings video. Last weekend we won $100 so that's pretty good. So um, it seems like our picks are working and I'm ready for Phoenix and maybe one of these picks will do well. I don't plan on doing probably maybe two to three picks this race weekend but I'm going to show you who I would predict and why I'm going this route. This is before the final practice um, where they're doing a lot of race practice. Um, so I'm just going off the qualifying order because where they start really determines a whole lot of how you would pick everybody because um, if if somebody like Kevin Harvick who is starting back there in the 20s who has done very well at Phoenix, he's going to come to the front even if you aren't banking on him winning. He is going to finish very, very well and you're going to want to pick him. So, I mean, this is why you want to pick after qualifying and... You want to try and judge off the final practice speeds, the, t the fastest 10 lap consecutive uh, lap times, and that can really help you as well. But this is before, I'm making this video before the final practice goes up. Alright, this race weekend, we're going to look at the starting lineup. See, Logano's on the pole. He's always been very decent here. Um, in the recent years, he's always been up there. And if you look down there, in 23rd, you see Kevin Harvick. And Kevin Harvick, he's going to be a no-brainer to pick. It'd be different if he was starting, like, second. But Kevin Harvick is back there in 23rd. He's got the stats to back it up. You're going to want to pick him. And I'm going to come down here and also pick up Jimmy Johnson. He's a starting back here in the rear of the field. Jimmy Johnson and that crew just knows what they're doing. They've had a bad start to the year. Um, they're going to turn it around. There's no way they're going to carry how much bad luck they had this year into Phoenix. They're going to start turning it around. The 48 crew gets a top 10, top 5. They'll be up there. And they're going to rebound from 14th. They're starting outside the top 10. They're going to get you differential points. Uh, we're going to pick Dale Earnhardt Jr., because we believe he can lead some laps. That 88 car has been really quick here in recent memory. And we're also going to pick Kyle Larson. And then you're going to come down here and pick up Chris Busher. Why you're picking Chris Busher is because he's starting back there in the 33rd position. And I believe he can at least finish inside the top 25. We're hoping that he can finish inside the top 20. And that will be a lot of gaining points. For you when he moves up from his starting position up to his finishing position and your last guy you're going to come down here and I would pick Daniel Suarez I've been picking Suarez lately in almost every I've had him on at least one lineup every race so far this season but you look down here he's starting outside the top 25 the car is a Joe Gibbs car and he should be able to do well we're banking on Daniel Suarez to at least get a top 20 if he doesn't do that well, um, he should do better than what he has been doing this season. And that's what we're going to go on. Kevin Harvick, Jimmy Johnson, Dylan Hart Jr., Kyle Larson, Chris Buescher, Daniel Suarez. We're banking on Jr. and Larson to lead laps and finish up there. Jimmy Johnson and Kevin Harvick are going to finish inside the top 10. Buescher and Suarez are banking on top 20 finishes, and that will win you a good bit of money. Another lineup I believe you guys should pick is you're going to have to roll with Kevin Harvick again. You're going to pick Kevin Harvick on a good bit of these. Um, pick Jimmy Johnson again because these guys are starting outside the top 10. And I have Martin Tricks Jr. on one um, as well. I don't, I don't have Denny Hamlin because he's having to go to the rear of the field. But Jimmy Johnson and Kevin Harvick, no doubt they're going to come from the rear of the field. I have Joey Logano on this lineup because he's starting on the pole, and I believe he's going to leave a lot of the laps early on, and he can finish well. He ain't going to slack off. Kyle Larson, I don't know. I like Kyle Larson. He finished, what, third last time out here, and he, I, I believe he can do very well. And when we come down here, you are want to come down here and pick Chris Buescher again because Chris Buescher is starting 33rd. And this is make or break. Um, Chris Buescher, I believe, can if he can get a top 20, he's going to be a very, very good pick for this race weekend. And Buescher, he's got the car to do so. His teammate A.J. Allmendinger is up there starting 20th. And Allmendinger, I believe, can finish around right there. And this is a little gutsy as well. But with the last guy you can ever pick on this 
is Gray Golding. And why we're picking Gray Golding, this is a little bit of a stretch. 36 starting position, BK Racing. What we're hoping out of Gray Golding is for him to finish like 28th, top 30. That's all we're hoping on. If Jimmy Johnson, Kevin Harvick can go up there, finish in the top, what, seven, I suppose. Um, Harvick, Johnson, maybe lead laps. If they can get up there, Joey Logano or Kyle Larson maybe dominate the evening. And all four of them finish up there high in the top 10. And Chris Buescher get a top 20. And also Galding get a top 30. That is going to be a banging lineup. So um, I like the lineup. However, it is a risky one with having to put Greg Galding on there. This is a rather safe lineup. And you're, it, I believe anybody would love this lineup. Um, you're not going to have Kevin Harvick on it, but you're going to have a lot of solid options on here. Joey Logano, I believe he can lead slaps early. Um, Jamie McMurray, even though he's starting top five, I believe he can finish top ten. Um, he's really had a good start to the season, and it just seems like it'd be a really good pick for him. And I know we're going to roll with Jimmy Johnson again. I know Jimmy Johnson is starting back there, and he's done very well here before. And I do like Jimmy Johnson for this race weekend, even though he has not had the best success this year. Dale Earnhardt Jr., we're going to pick him because he could possibly lead a lot of laps and dominate just like Alex Bowman did. Jr. ran very well um, in the last couple of races here. Um, so we're going to pick him up and also pick up Clint Boyer because he's just a solid option sitting there in 13th, believe he can crack, crack the top 10 and finish well. And we're going to come down here and pick Eric Amarola because look where Eric Amarola is starting. He's starting 28th, and last time we came to Phoenix, he started 29th and finished in the top 20. And that's really what you need out of Eric Amarola, differential points and a solid finish. Um, what we're hoping on is another finish just like that. And Eric Amarola last weekend, I think he qualified 30th and finished 15th. So he was a great pick at Las Vegas. I didn't have him on my lineup. But really, the only bad guy on your lineup that won't be up there in the top 10, competing in the top 10, is Eric Amarola. And that's a really good... If you can get all five guys to be able to like that, um, it's really good. However... We got Kevin Harvick starting in the 20s, in the 20s, guys. So he is going to be a big pick because he's going to get you differential points and possibly get up there and win the race. And this last lineup I'm, I'm going to get is another Kevin Harvick one. He's very expensive for this race weekend, but trust me, he's very, very dependable when you're looking at the lineup. Um, he's starting back there in 23rd. He's coming from the rear he's going to get you differential points he's going to finish solid um it's all about looking ahead at the race and thinking who could lead you laps and dominate so we're going to go ahead and pick joey logano up again we're going to come down here and pick matt kenseth and then you're going to want to scroll down here because we're way up on salary now pick michael mcdowell he, he said on twitter the other day that he feels like he's got a re good, really good race trim set up and look at him inside the top 20 that 95 car he did kind of ruin me at atlanta but i believe i can have some faith in michael mcdowell and we're gonna pick up chris busher because he's starting back there in the 33rd position and for our final guy we're gonna come all the way up here and pick austin dillon um, Dylan is starting in the 17th position. I believe he can get you differential points. And Dylan will be a good pick when it comes down to the race on Sunday. So that is a lineup there. And if you aren't feeling the Kevin Harvick, if you don't think he's going to have a good day, pick up Kyle Busch, Chase Elliott, um, Kyle Larson, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Come down here. Pick up Michael McDowell, and then pick up, uh, oh, goodness. Between these guys, I would say Daniel Suarez because he's starting deeper in the field, and he's got the Gibbs equipment. So that lineup, I believe, is a solid lineup. I believe all four of these guys of Junior Larson, Elliott, and Bush can finish in the top ten. Michael McDowell. 
He can finish top 20. Daniel Suarez, he does, he needs to do better than what he has been doing. But I believe he can turn it around and get a solid finish this race weekend. But those are some lineups I gave you. And some of the lineups I have down already. Um, we, like I said, we won $100 last weekend, which was pretty nice. And we're hoping to win something this race weekend. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, guys.